guys, so this is where we're at right now. I got the LED strips going and plugged in and they're running through. They're both on fade loop right now. We got green, blue, whatever on top. TV's in place, quadcopter, GoPro helmet, computer sitting up. It's starting to look a whole lot better. My goal now is to deal with all of this documentation. It's mostly paperwork, bills, stuff that I probably should have cleaned up a long time ago. But then also we have all of the boxes. Oh, and there's my dog, Roxy. Sit. Good girl. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean up all the boxes in addition to all the paperwork, and then we'll see where we're at from there. Oh my gosh, that 4K crop's a little too much. I wanna switch over to 1080p. We're gonna see what that looks like. That is much better, actually. I am all in frame. Out of frame, in frame, out of frame, in frame. And it looks pretty darn good, in my opinion. But I kinda wanna know what you guys think of the new image. I mean, there's actually one thing. I'm just gonna be real quiet for one second. You guys hear that? I believe the lens is making so much noise, it's kind of concerning. The, the contrast, if you look right here, that's bright, very bright, and then you can actually see my face fairly well lit. So I'm going to say the dynamic range is a plus. I'm really impressed with Samsung, but again, this lens, hopefully Amazon should be able to hook me up within 30 days. That would be great. Just, oh man, the autofocus. Ah, focus, focus! Whoa. It is not wanting to focus at all. Still getting used to it, hopefully it's a user error. Resetting the record mode seemed to fix it, but back to the room. Well, right here is actually my green screen wall, which I am very proud of. Over here we got the poster hung up, keyboard, mouse, and remote controller for the TV. Because it is on this board, I can actually have it going across the chair, which is great. I got an extra chair over there with a little throw pillow. And as we're going down, oh, what is this? I don't know if you guys are aware, but digital cameras go through something very quick batteries so some extra batteries what about this over here what we got here I believe is all of the chargers now again as you guys know I'm heading over to Europe um, I'll actually be in Paris so hopefully this plug will work this adapter got a, a wall charger it has an LED at the top so I can see whenever it is fully charged one thing I need to focus on is actually these audio meters it is a very good microphone from what I understand. I guess we'll see in post-production. I'm trying not to max out the metering because of course that's what we call peaking and peaking audio is bad audio. Bad audio, it's not always usable. Sometimes it's repairable. We'll see how it goes. Okay, that right there, what is that? You see all this stuff? I honestly don't think I can continue this video without cleaning up this floor. Like it is just incredibly unprofessional. First of all, I've been working on this room for a very long time. It's been a long project over the course of a year because money off and on, lost the job for a while, had to come up with some finances in order to finish it all, got a new job, and that provided the finances. So without further ado, however, I don't even know if this, is this the same episode? I have no idea how many of these clips are in one episode. I've pretty much recorded a lot, so let's go on. With all that stuff out of the way, we can start to focus over here. Here's my system build, pretty cool overall, but the glare in this room is completely wretched. That didn't help at all. It's water cooled, CPU, 64 gigabytes of RAM. There is my 970 GPU. I'll probably explain that in a different video why I bought that one. So Justin, why are you using a TV as a monitor? Like, it's probably one of the worst ways to game. Remember, I'm playing from about 10 feet away, so I kind of need a larger monitor. If you're wondering what the refresh rate of this TV is, why am I even able to use it for gaming or for video editing at all? Is it really laggy? Well, to be honest, no, it's not. And it runs at 120 hertz, and I believe that number is actually generated. And so whenever you see games reach over 60 frames per second, it's actually trying to generate frames in between. I don't think the TV is actually running at that frame rate. Absolutely loving this webcam because it's able to project me with that green screen behind me. So anytime I do editing, it is super easy to pull me and my chair and setup directly from that background. Love it. Cannot complain one bit. And moving on below, we actually have a bunch of games, a speaker, a portable battery charger, and a PlayStation Portable. Down below, we have some books, an old Game Boy, Micro, Quadcopter, as well as my GoPro helmet. The reason I'm using the Xbox Connect is actually going to be for 3D modeling and doing scanning using programs like Skinect and Reconstruct Me. Hopefully, that'll be a good asset for us. Over to this bench seat, which is not a bench seat. Well. 
Well, I mean, it technically is a bench seat, but it is actually also used for storage as well as some material for making the quadcopter. Below, we actually have the two computers, the one I used to run my system on as well as the one I received for free. And actually, that hard drive was pulled from that computer and is now running the operating system for this computer until I get everything converted and transferred over to my one terabyte Samsung SSD. One of my more favorite parts of the room is actually gonna be this gun wall that is still a work in progress. We got two Vulcan Nerf guns and this full-size wall that is going to be used with a pegboard. And in the closet, I have a very large assortment of Nerf guns hiding. As projects develop, we can get this gun wall put together. Underneath of the gun wall, we actually have a bunch of IKEA furniture, which which has two shoe racks on the bottom and all of my clothes on top. In addition, the room is not completely done. There's so much more to do. I have uh, some products still on the way, one of which has actually already arrived, and that is gonna be these LED strips. So the LED strips are actually gonna be ran on this inside bracket, and if you're kind of confused, that's just to the side of the computer, as well as LEDs along the top of the bed line. Uh, I've had a couple people ask me about it. What it is is considered a trundle bed, and that's where the bed's actually on the floor and it pulls out, and you're able to use the top for storage, or in my case, pretty much an entire office setup. With the bed pulled out now, we have this entire space underneath. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that's like. On the back side is uh, some additional storage which is directly underneath of the chairs above. Right above here you're probably like hey what's up with that? Like, what, you, what you got going up there? Is actually the cable management if it'll focus cable management. Uh, uh, I actually mounted a surge protector over there to the left and that's what you see everything hooked up to right now. So maybe I'm just new to this whole camera thing. Uh, maybe it's because I'm used to a phone that does most of it for me, but nothing against Samsung. They're new to this business. The autofocus, again, just going crazy. So you're probably wondering, Tristan, are you happy with your purchase overall? Yeah, I am really happy with my purchase. I love the camera so far. Focus on me. There we go. Okay, so I guess I have to be right in the center. That's just something I'm gonna have to get used to as far as holding a camera in a selfie mode. So I guess this is actually where we're gonna end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the room. People are home. It's time to call it a day. Right now I am uh, actually, as you guys can see, on Windows 10 with Apple.